Hello, this is a foxy game that Black won very comfortable by 22 and a half. But there were moments in the game where uh, White had uh, an edge or Black could punish even more. And even at the end, there are situations like this one on the right side where White shouldn't add another move. So obviously, both Black and White should improve their reading skills. Also, this F14 is not necessary. We will check that shortly before we go back to the beginning. So on the right side, let's say White passes. If black plays a tire here, white will just cash two stones. If black goes down, threatening a cut, uh, white can connect. On the honey, white connects again. If black cuts, white captures. So it's nothing to worry about for white here. Uh, also, white can play a fancy move like S8, which prevents the, the Atari. And on the honey, uh, just connect. So it's really nothing to uh, be scared of. So <clears throat> white could play away. Now here, F14. Let's say uh, black passes right now. If white tries something in that area, white will probably start with a cut at g14. Of course, white can go Atari and then Atari again, then cut or something, but nothing happens. So the sneaky type uh, or uh, attempt is to, so we have a pass, then cut first. Now this cut, obviously, is threatening a double Atari. So white's options, I mean black's options here, are to connect solid against the double Atari, in which case white can go Atari, then white's only option to follow up is to cut, but that's not a problem, black can just Atari here, it's a double Atari, black has ice and white is short on liberties. So that's one way for black to <clears throat> defend, the other way would be to go uh, F15. So if white Atari here, black connects, Atari here, take, Atari again, just connect. Because if white tries to Atari from the outside, it's gonna be a self Atari, so you just capture. And if white turns here, you take away liberty. And again, it's one eye versus no eye. There is no way to Atari here and threaten in any way. It's self Atari, then Atari this way, again, black captures. So this means if black reads out what happens uh, when white cuts a G14 and all these options are covered, then in the end, black can decide against playing another move inside. Of course, this is Chinese rules, so when you play another stone here, it doesn't matter. But if you play under Japanese rules, playing a move inside, it's minus one point. And well, when you're 20 points ahead, it really doesn't matter. But if it's a game by half a point, and you just add another move inside because you're scared something might have happened, then you lose a one game just because of being lazy to read four or five moves ahead. So <clears throat> that should be a matter of uh, positive attitude. Now let's see the game from the beginning, the Fuseki was interesting. So Komoku then went uh, for diagonal Fuseki, very good. Attack the top left. Here White plays the modern style kick. Uh, it, it's playable and it's quite often seen. Usually White would just uh, defend calm and then when Black goes for a base, White attacks the top right corner. But okay, nothing wrong with this. <clears throat> and most of the time here, White will go for a one space jump. It's a much stronger formation in the corner. Then black extends three space, uh, low or high. Both moves are uh, playable. So white defends with a two space jump. This leaves a little bit of agi. Black can go uh, e17, then pull back. We will see in the game that uh, every time black played this attach, the follow up was this move and then push. But this is not so great. So you better pull back just to see white's reaction, whether he will connect under at f18 or if you play c18. And in each case, there is a follow-up for black. So here, of course, black will first extend for a base and so on. But later in the game, uh, black can cut, then use the Atari, and then no Sesuji. So white will most of the time go down. And the Atari is very important in the top to make this exchange 7-8, because when all the neutral points are filled, let's say uh, at some point in the game, black will go up. Then if white wants to push and cut here, White starts to take away his own liberties and if something like this happens, then the fight continues somewhere else on the board. Uh, Black has the option to start a call with this Atari on the first line. <clears throat> That's why it's so important to have the exchange at uh, E19 in place. If that move is not played, then there will be no Ko Aji. So if no Atari, just no Stesuji and this, after this kind of push and cut, there is no Ko in the top. I mean, the only thing that Black can use, it's Atari from the outside. And that's it. So it's good to make that exchange. Another thing, if uh, White pulls back, Black can use the uh, 
uh, Tetsuji to re- uh, reduce the corner with C17. So white might Atari, then go down. If white just connects, black is happy to Atari under. So white will probably push like this, then black will Atari once, and now black can capture stone or just play away because if white takes two stones, anyway, that was originally white's corner. So black is happy to get this squeeze for free and make white play so many moves inside. So that's how black should think about uh, a way to punish white's loose extension. Attach, then pull back. But this attach and pullback doesn't have to happen right away. Right now, it's good enough to play the three space extension, low or high. When you play low, it's more territorial and safe against any kind of invasion. When you play high, uh, you look more for the center, but then you get this kind of invasion like it happened in the game. Even though this is a little bit hasty, uh, why should just go for big points? P17, then make a Shimari or approach the corner at F3. Right now, there are still big open spacing on the board. He doesn't have to be jealous that black makes 10 points on the left side and immediately jump in. <clears throat> now against this move, usually uh, this is similar to what happens when we have, uh, let's say, this kind of Joseki on the board. Then black considers to use this M18. So it's the same kind of invasion, but okay, let's go back to the left. So for black here, uh, you can just cover on top at C13, white will Hanen, play Atari, connect under, you go Atari on the top, and then you can leave it like this. If you play another Atari here, which is big and powerful for the left side, white doesn't really connect that stone right now. I mean, this will be Gote, but if you just play away, you're sent as it is. And of course, there is still this Tsuke and pullback, but now you, you lose the Aji in the corner. This will be just a Kotret. So you can wait for this to use the Tsuke uh, as a Kotret later on, or maybe just approach J17 and think about other combinations in the top left. But anyway, this is a variation where black keeps things simple and just makes a wall, which is fine. Because in the end, uh, this reduction on the left side, being on the second line, is not such a big deal for white, and it's a little bit too early. Black may profit more in the center than what white gain on the left side. So you can let your opponent connect under like that. In the game, black played on the fourth line, which is a little bit soft. You can also play on the third line here, then white has to do the same thing. And then you play away. You just attack his corner. But the fighting spirit move is to play Kosumi Tsuke. Because this Kosumi Tsuke doesn't allow white connect under. Another way to make sure he doesn't try to connect under is to play the Hane. And then maybe a shoulder hit here, Atari. So you give the territory in the top. And then you play Kosumi, because in this case, when he captures a stone, you go Atari, and then you either connect solid or you go down. So this is already uh, also fine, because when white connects under, it will be just endgame. And now again, you're center. So keeps white really low, second line and first line. So once you play a Hane, which you are going to sacrifice the stone as bait, you give him uh, uh, not too many options. On the left side. And the fighting spirit move is this Kosumi Tsuke because it separates. So white's option usually is to jump out. And again you can hunt in the corner but this can wait. Right now it's okay to play the cover on top. So what white can do is to sacrifice the stone on the left side. And just make a Ponuki in the middle. But already this is fine. It's been punished and black takes the territory on the left side. White makes a, a little bit of uh, influence with the Ponuki in the center, but this variation is playable for both. And white can also think about this kind of jump, in which case it's okay just to cover and stay connected. So again, you make a, a wall, then white still needs to protect the base on the left side. This Tsuke can still be played and pull back. And then uh, the Hane, Atari, knows the Suji, and then just play away. So. In a way, it's a bit hasty for white to use B13 right away, but luckily, these are the moves to consider. Kosumi, uh, attach on top, or Kosumi Tsuke to separate, or of course, Hane, Atari, and just uh, some more fighting spirit to make sure you separate the, the invasion from uh, the corner. <clears throat> so that's important to remember. Now here, when black plays the one-space jump, white should just link under, and this is a little gain for white. 
because he scoop out the base and Black's group is somewhat on the run. But Black is actually in the center, so Tenuki would be fine. <clears throat> White decided to jump on the second line and that feels a little bit slack. Now Black can play the Kosumitsuke if White comes up, on the first, White blocks and then just cover the group. And it's painful for White to keep crawling on the second line. Even if this group can leave, it's uh, not so great. Let's say he makes this kind of life. Super painful. Three points, but it gave a lot of outside thickness. So, back to the original game. Black plays away. Uh, that's a nice idea, actually. When you don't know what to play locally, you just enoki. <clears throat> so again, White does the kick, and then the two space lose extension instead of a one space, which is much safer for the corner. Then this time, Black extends low. Very nice. So there is no more invasion around N2, or at least... Not that appealing to white anymore. Then this came. Yeah, this is a good idea to come into the center and somehow try to attack the D13 group. So let's see. Mm. This move defends the corner but keeps uh, Black's group weak. So Black can think about Tsuke here and on the Hane, which is a little bit brave, Black can go Kosumi, then cut and extend. Because now this group on the left side eventually still needs to connect under. Of course, white might play an Atari first to break the ladders, but then white needs to connect under, and black can play Atari, extend, then go in the middle. So these stones, they connect pretty well, and black is looking for a lot of potential in the middle on the way out. So it's bad for white, because white is separated. Therefore, on the Tsuke, white should play Nobi to be safe, and then black can just fly out in the center. So that's a, a pretty fine exchange because when you play on the left side and white comes in the middle, these stones are all uh, floating. So you still need to jump in the center. Ah, white decided to connect under. Mm, that's a bit slow now. I mean, for white, it's good to jump here because having a stone here also erases the potential that black has on the bottom side. And black won the game because of making this big box on the bottom later on. So white was a little bit slow to connect under. Black keeps um, uh, these stones on the left very light and that's pretty good actually because Black got lots of uh, big points while White just tried to attack those guys. So that's a big move but a bigger extension would be on the right side such as R11 because for Black it's very nice to extend all the way to R10. <clears throat> or White can think about Tsuke, pull back, turn and then extend. So white makes a lot of potential on the right side, while black is limited in the corner. This case 17 seems a little bit uh, small, and now black goes all the way to R9. R9 it's a bit too much, here it's still better to play R10, because that's the ideal extension from the top right Shimari, and anyway, R9 doesn't affect the corner so much, So, and it leaves a big gap, which means white can jump in. It's not like you play R9, your opponent thinks, okay, the invasion is dangerous, he will defend here, and then you play another move to secure the right side and make it uh, safer and bigger. Obviously, white will jump in. And we're playing on Foxy where they overplay a lot and they like to fight and cut and invade and so on. Uh, so still, you can think about the Tsuke pullback, see whether white will play like this or like this, and then just extend all the way to R10. <clears throat> but let's see what happens. So invasion... Then Tsuke, oh, counter, yeah, this is good. The counter attack is fine. Because if you play a move like this, white makes a base, fine. Oh, white plays the Kosumi to make sure black doesn't use the attach, the attach at S11 and try to connect up or down. But the Kosumi should be played on the fourth line because this will put pressure on Blackstone. So when black plays here <coughs> and white uh, Hane, black will attach, white pulls back, no B, uh, extend. And this is a way where black comes out, but so it's white. Playing the Kosumi on the second line, this is a move that uh, uh, black can ignore completely. So black and Tsuke pull back, see what happens here. Um, use the combination with the Gnosis 2G and jump out. In fact, it's also interesting to play an attach and cover the two stones on the right. But jump would be good enough. <clears throat> Uh, this is an interesting variation. It's possible, but in general, it's better to pull back at Q5. 
You want to play this kind of move when there is no white stone at R7. So now, ooh, white was supposed to connect solid. Because on this move, the attack is very painful. White still needs to play here. So that's really strange because when white has a solid connection and black Hane, white will always block R2. But okay, that Atari can come later. Now, black pushed. In fact, the Atari would be good now. I mean, if white plays here, you take the stone, white needs to take this one, then you jump out or you play Kosumi and jump to attack those stones on the right. So that's nice profit in the corner to play Atari Q2. But I'm pretty sure on Q2, white will defend. And that makes his S3 uh, a bad shape. So here push, Hane, Atari, Atari. Yeah, this way uh, black sacrifices a stone just to get a big box on the bottom. But that stone on the right side could gain more. So once you play Atari here, white defense, now you can forget about R5 and just go out with Kosumi. Because this group will struggle. I mean, if white captures a stone here, you take the two on the right side and it's a better deal. So white doesn't have time to, to capture that stone. When white comes out like this, he's on the run, he has to escape in the middle and now you can push and cover and this Atari is dangerous to use because you can cut him from below. Therefore, white will just probably push again and try to connect to the right. But even that doesn't work. You have Atari, Atari and connect. But now you can let him connect on the right side because anyway the group is out. So it's not such a big deal and just play something to enclose the bottom on a very large scale. I still like to play around here to make a huge box. So that's a better way to uh, go for a moyo. But first things first, Atari to punish, then put pressure on those stones. So now we have a push, Hane, Atari, Atari, and then you gotta discard the stone because this would be a little too much fighting spirit. The stones die inside. So yeah, take. Uh, White can actually just cover. Because this Atari doesn't do much. On the Hane, counter Hane. On this move, cut. And on this move, capture everything. <clears throat> so this way, when black turns, white will also turn. And black has a big potential on the bottom. But it just feels that R9 could do more. Oh, okay, so we have this attach. Then this one, in this case it actually is not too bad because if you pull back and he plays here, there is not much follow up in the top. The only thing you can do is shoulder hit, then push once, cover, Atari, connect and connect. Well, it's still slightly better than the game. Well, let's see what happens. So push, Hane, double Hane is good, Atari connect, extend, that's fine. But here, white can push because of the Atari and the Nabe Tsumari. So Black needs to play here, and this means white is center, so white can enter the bottom side. But white pulls back, and this gives black a center to do something about the bottom. Yeah, F3 is nice. Uh, usually just E3, but even after F3, it's very difficult for white to live in the corner, because black has this Kosumi to kill everything. And F3 narrows the gap, so it's much tougher for white to invade. So a pretty good idea to play this move. Then white extends in the top. Hane is good too. Okay, then the jump to make the box uh, pretty big. Actually, here it's more interesting to play an O gamer like this or just J4 because it's already good enough to build a box on this line. It doesn't have to be two lines larger. But okay, you can always try. This kind of move, um, somehow, if you don't make the box around here, it's going to be a waste. And we will see in the game that white managed to reduce and separate it. So you better go a little smaller like this and still build probably as much as in the game or slightly more. We'll see. So white tries to come in. That's a good move to protect the uh, top area. But that group was fine actually. So if you play a peep and then a one space jump and white keeps pushing from behind, you still build a very nice box and you make uh, the jump in the middle be the right uh, place. So let's see how big this bottom side will become. Anyway, yeah, it feels good to protect the weak group. Why tries to reduce? Why should try to come deeper? Shoulder hit, for example. Or something around this spot and jump out. 
this doesn't do much yeah good block and increase the box more you can honey here then when no be push a few times and it's a very natural way to enclose the uh, bottom area this is fine block is good leaves a little bit of edge in the corner but it has an atari here so reduces white's liberty too so here it's good to turn first this shows fighting spirit you break the line between uh, j7 and f7 when uh, white no b you can just surround the stone and if white jumps out you have the atari here which is painful so white is still in trouble this move doesn't connect so well to l8 and also doesn't separate white normally you want to play this one and if white comes out here you can play keima and hane then you still kind of keep most of the bottom side <clears throat> obviously white is not going to play this one then allow the connection i mean he could but he wants to get inside more well even if white reduces some uh, of the bottom side it's still a tough game for white well here on this suke it's natural to play a hane or a nobi the peep kind of helps white hane once then nobi like this and then separate because the four stones even if they come inside a little bit they are still on the run so on this move you separate everything when jump you try to catch the whole thing and use the thickness to surround this way black just wants to keep the bottom and discard the stone in the middle so when you think about this kind of jump uh, originally it's a bit terrible to lose it like that and then build territory with two lines lower i mean in that case you could play k6 right away so that's something to reflect on the future games so let's see jump here uh it's better to block actually because white doesn't build so much in the middle even if white jumps here you come in the center like this or you come from the left side it's fine either way playing a jump like this reduces white in the middle but allows the jump on the second line to <clears throat> uh, reduce those points now here black can play a bump white has to go up and this keeps black center Ah, but it seems black was sent anyway and the way white should connect is the hanging connection because this one leaves hane and white has to nobi also if black plays a move here black can think about the clamp at l18 yeah that's very good and now just hane on the first line now this is the kind of situation where white messed up and black didn't punish white has to play nobi this is the proper move and later on uh, a block at l18 uh, sorry l19 but right now black will play away <clears throat> now why it's uh, wrong to block like this because uh, black can play a double atari and if white connects black will take a stone then white needs to block here so white obviously will take the stone but in this case black can atari on top and now white's only option is to fight a core with a double atari or maybe a single atari from the left but anyway black captures the core then if you don't play a big enough core threat take again anyway this core it's absolutely free for black nothing to lose for black and a lot to lose for white now if white connects black will just attack from the outside and kill everything so this is the kind of situation where you should always go for the cut i mean it's too nice to connect and allow white connect too when you can punish so it's obvious that in this kind of hane white's option it's only nobi and if he blocks <clears throat> it seems that he's desperate he's way behind and he tries to fight for every point even one extra point but for this one extra point double atari and cut and he can lose way more so that's a way to punish uh here if you play the double atari he might atari from behind then you gotta catch one stone then he ataris in the corner and tries to leave and it gets dangerous so it's good to protect first but then yeah white has time to come back at l18 <clears throat> the way he played he leaves cotrets he should connect solid but anyway if you think about it uh hane white no b then you play other moves and then when he plays here you connect so we revert to this without any risk for white but he played the cut right away so i mean the block and you should cut and punish okay then the turn here this is pretty big because the center uh, it's again in danger oh atari here is nice too gives him a bad shape that's fine okay white leaves but small 
It's quite painful for white to answer this move too. And actually he needs to play some more moves to save himself. So it's a key point to play K10. For white also. This will give him eye shape. But anyway, black looks good. So I guess <clears throat> that's why black doesn't play too risky. But even when you're in a position way ahead, it's good to play the big point all the time. So yeah, here white did well to go down and Hane in center because black could always play this Atari at Q2. So if you go back a few moves, this push doesn't do so much. Playing a push here is fine because it threatens the group. White comes out, then Atari one stone. It's super big to play this Q2, especially that white can go down in center. If white plays here K14, you don't even care. You capture a stone, then when he plays here, you can Hane in the corner. But okay, that Hane can wait. Now you pull back. There are not so many points here to fight for compared to what's in the corner. Because in the corner, when white went down and everything in center <coughs> around Q2, uh, white got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 points here and destroyed this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in total, this is a 13 points difference. But in this area, it's a little less. So back to the game. Actually, m more than a little less. Way less. Okay, this is... Alright. Good shape. Actually, you can also play this one. But okay, it leaves Cotred, so it makes sense. That's fine. Nice catch. Ha. Ah. So normally on this move, why should play here? Because it prevents the Atarian connection, and when black goes down, white cuts. When black connects, white connects. On this Atari, white defends. So white shouldn't lose those three stones. Now later on, uh, okay. Oh wait a second. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You can connect here. White needs to connect and then you block. If white plays the Nobi first, then you go Atari. If white connects, then you Bamboo and the group is trapped inside. If white Atari from the outside, you push. When he plays here, you capture this stone. So the group inside dies anyway. And when he plays here, you just go out and set everything. Eventually, you can give him two stones because you catch the other two. So it's a good deal. <clears throat> yep. So this block, take, save one stone. That's actually not so big. It's better to play Atari here. If he takes, you go down. Or don't play anything. Uh, just go on and connect. This is like six, seven points. So. When he captures stone here, you go up. When he blocks, you block again. So that's a small connection. Now an attempt to leave in the corner, but it's too late. So on this move, white doesn't need to play, uh, sorry, black doesn't need to play D2. Let's see why. Oh, actually, no, it's, it's okay to play D2 because there, there can be a call. But let's say if you play away and he tries this move, E2, what you can do is block F2. Now, if he pulls back D2, you just Hane. And this leads to the L group formation. If he plays here, you pull back. So this is already a dead formation. There's nothing to do. But uh, he will try something else. He will play this one. Ah, when he goes up, he's dead again because you Hane and he pulls back and is the L formation once again. But he will play this one. And when you cover, he doesn't play D1. He plays E1. And this can lead to a co-fight. So therefore, yeah, it's needed to play another move. But later on, when he blocked, yeah, here, you don't need a second defense. So let's say now you play anything else like this one. If he pushes here, you always pull back. You don't give him the stone. It's the same when he pushes here. You pull back. Because if you give him the stone, he leaves. So you are prepared for him to push like that and pull back in either case. I mean, if you think about the position, you have the same thing here. Um, and black doesn't need to play c4. Because when white plays the turn, you always pull back. So no need to play unnecessary moves just because you're 20 points ahead. And now, let's see, that was okay. This is fine. <clears throat> and yeah, one, two points moves. But at the very end, um, yeah, we have a co-fight. 
this is a complete neutral point for white okay white could also resign but this one it's zero points he can play this move to make a point then he's trying okay we have the core is the oh okay it's more interesting to win this core in the middle because once black wins the core white has to play inside so why should play atari here uh, sorry black should play the atari then take the core because if white feeds this one you take another core and if white feels here you destroy a point then you feel this one he feels this one oh wait there is still the the push yeah push in center one point then fill a call fill a call and now count that's the proper way to finish the game so he filled the call you ah instead of filling a call you gotta push here because it's no center for white to take away the liberty we cover this atari atari situation and it's all good anyway a solid win 20 points uh not too bad but it's good to remember the combination in the top left how to fight with fighting i mean to resist with fighting spirit with those kosumitsuki or han and so on also when you attach e17 it's good to pull back because you have other follow-ups later on and in the end you gotta count uh, or read out accurate if you need to add another move inside or not like this d3 or f14 it's not worth wasting points when no necessary to uh, add another move inside so enjoy the review and play stronger next games